Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I know it's not Tuesday, but today I'm going to drop a quick tip on doing bypass barn doors like you see on the screen here. Let's get started. So this was a question on one of the Facebook group forums, and I'm going to post this video link there. Uh, how to do bypass barn doors. I had a thought of an old trick I used for, um, that we used to use for screen doors. I haven't used, I haven't actually modeled screen doors in a very long time, but you still can do this trick. So what I've done is I started off with my uh, five foot doorway. And then I'm going to drop a by uh, barn door here. All right. And so that will be the right barn door. And then I'm going to drop a barn door here. Actually, I'm going to delete that one and just do this once. So I'm going to select this door uh, specification by double clicking on it. And I'm going to turn off interior casing and jam. So as you can see over here, all I've got is the track and the door slab. I'm going to go back to general and give this a height just under the height of my uh, door, doorway, which is 80 inches tall. And I'm going to say 79 and 7 8 inches, and I'm going to make that 1 8 inch from the bottom. Uh, whoops, 79 and 7 8 inches height. 1 8 inch floor to bottom, so the top still lines up correctly. Once I've got that set, I'm going to copy this about the center of the of the uh, of my uh, doorway. And one more item, I'm going to open this one up and tell it offset from the wall, let's say three inches. Lastly, I'm going to do, I'm on a Mac, so I hold Command, but if you're on a PC, hold Control, because if you don't, you can't overlap the doors. I'm now holding Command, and I'm just going to let go of Command and drop that about the center of the doorway. Now, as I know the width of both the doorway and the barn door, uh, the doorway is... is um, 60 inches, the barn door is 30 inches, that means the center of the barn door actually needs to go 15 inches to the right of center of the doorway. Makes sense? So these are now centered. I need to move this barn door 15 inches over right there to, to uh, line up. So I'm just going to drag it and tab 15 in the X direction. And drag this one, same command key, command, let go of the uh, command and let go. I guess I'm going to have to let go with my mouse and drop it, drop it to the center. And then same 15 inches. So as I'm dragging, I tab, minus 15. There we go. I've now got the two slabs are in bypass because this one is three inches off the wall. This one's one inch off the wall. The trick is that taking the casing and the jam off and raising it one eighth of an inch. If I don't raise it one eighth of an inch, let me take that off, you'll see that the casing actually leaves um, from the doorway as well. Let me back up here. Whoops. Actually, I'm going to start over. And you'll notice something weird goes on here. And from the flip side, I have the casing, but it's, it's messed up. So once again, I'm just going to open this door here and do my 80 inches to the top. And now my casing comes back. I can see the casing here. The wall in plan view looks all correct. 
Let's do my split screen again. And if I want, I can just open the door and you can kind of see the bypass situation going on there. I hope that helps. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. If you like this, go ahead and click like and subscribe. You'll see more tips coming out every Tuesday as I drop them on Tech Tip Tuesday. Take care.